This is my first uh, bid for public office. And, and why now? Because I think it is time, not only in the state of Kentucky, but in this country, for men and women who actually know how the wealth of this nation is created and have been integrally involved in doing so to step forward and take responsibility because the career politicians like Mitch McConnell, who have been leading this country in Washington for too long, are taking us down a fiscally unsustainable path. And if people who understand how the wealth is actually created and not just redistributed don't step up, then I fear for the republic, I fear for our ability to sustain ourselves going forward. What I will raise is what is needed to win this. It's not going to be bought. He may attempt to buy it by blanketing the airwaves nonstop with negative ads on people. But this is a, great, a race that's going to be run at, one at the grassroots level. It's going to be one at the ballot box in a bottom-up uh, way. We will, we will spend the money necessary. It will take millions of dollars, even from our side, to win this primary. We understand that. We're raising that. And I'm pleased at the progress we're making thus far. I would vote no, period. There's, there's any number of them. Topically right now, I mean, Obamacare is, is one where he and I view it very differently. He talks a big game. He talks nonstop about yanking it out root and branch, but it's all talk. He does nothing to actually fight. He has never stood on the floor of the Senate to try to actually rally against this. That's one example. Amnesty is another one. Amnesty, he's voted for amnesty in 86. He voted for it in 06. He voted for it in 07. And then when it failed, he went and changed his vote to make it look like he didn't. It's that kind of fakery that people are fed up with. You know, you talk about bailouts. He voted to bail out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. He voted to bail out the Wall Street banks. Remarkably unpopular in Kentucky at that time and since then. Utterly unwilling to listen to his own constituents because the corporate interests and the people that were, those very same people he was bailing out were pumping hundreds of thousands of dollars into his campaign coffers. That's the type of difference between he and I. I am a fiscal conservative, and I'm somebody who will vote as I speak, not like him. The ages of my nine children are 14, 13, 13, 11, 11, 8, 8, 6, and 3. 